so here on the show on Live Music Showcase, after all, this is Live Music Showcase, and we are not here to disappoint. We have the band from Miami, Afro Beta. How you guys doing? Hi. Hi. We're doing great. We're awake. So happy for you guys to be here. <laughs> you guys just came from Miami. You had a show last night. You've got a show tonight at Hooch and Hive. And uh, we've just got so much going on here on Live Music Showcase. Um, we have tickets to give away for their show as well. We're going to do that a little bit later in the show. So if you want tickets to hear Afro Beta tonight, live in person, stick around because we're going to do that ticket giveaway. But I'd love to hear your first song if that's okay, okay. with you guys. Mm, let's do it. There we go. You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF. I'm your host, Ken Apperson. We're live in studio with Afro Beta. They are playing a little bit of music here. They're kind of like a synth pop dance Miami band. I love it. I love the uh, the trench coat that you have on right now. Is this latex? Is that latex? I don't know. It's something. It's, it's soft. something. It's soft. It's <laughs> soft. This song's called Who You.
You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. I'm your host, Ken Apperson. We are live in studio with Afro Beta. That, if I was if I was just a, a listener like driving down the road right now and just turning on the radio, I'd have been like, oh, I think that's a, that's a recording. No, that's a live band. They're live <laughs> here in studio. So tell me a little bit about your genre. Hybrid. 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 Yeah, we're hybrid. We write the songs acoustically. Yeah. On piano or guitar, mm-hmm. and then we make them electronic, just to uh, be able to tour around the country with two people. <laughs> so okay, that's great. Yeah. That's I love that. Okay, so around the country, uh, what's the furthest you've traveled for a gig so far? Like internationally Korea? around sure. the world? Sure, anywhere. Yeah. 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 Korea. Korea. Yeah. yeah. South Korea. Let's, I, let's be clear. Yeah. <laughs> is there any other Korea at this point? Like, I mean, as far as, you know, if a tree falls in North Korea yeah. is in, uh, no one's around to hear it. Is it oppressed? Yes. Just ask. Is. Yeah. So, Dennis uh, Rodman. He apparently goes there. There it is. Yeah. Ask him. Yeah. He's around here somewhere. He's in a closet somewhere. I'm sure. Anyway. Uh, so thank you guys so much for being in here, for, for coming in here, for driving from Miami and we had some fun technical things oh, to figure wow. out of, as the show was setting up. You guys are great. When I, to the listeners out there, one of my favorite things to, to see is a band under pressure because so often yeah. <laughs> the any kind of like positive, hi, I'm happy to be here. We love you guys. That falls away if things don't go as they're supposed to. And you guys are great. Guilty. I Well, same. Honestly, like, you know, I try very hard to always be positive. Yeah. And, uh, but it's been a joy to work with you guys, uh, honestly, on and off the mic. So we far. got here at 1230. Yeah. <laughs> on the dot. Pretty much. You were on time. Yeah. Like, I love it, honestly. And it makes the whole process go really smoothly. What did I tell you on the car? I'm not happy unless I'm five minutes, seven minutes before. Yep. 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 My uncle used to say 15 minutes early is on time. On time wow. is late and late is unheard of. That's what he used to tell me. Yikes. Uh, And yet I'm still constantly late for things. So that's my bad. That's the thing worth working on. But anyway, so what I'd love to do, I want to talk a little bit about, I want to dive a little further into developing this, this awesome, unique, you know, synth pop sound that you guys have. But before we do that, I'd love to hear another song. Sure. Let's do it. And you're listening to Afro Beta on Live Music Showcase. Uh, Down for the Night. Song is Down for the Night. Which is also the name of our tour that we're on right now. Tampa's the first date. But 
That's Afro Beta here in Live Music Showcase on 88.5 WMNF. Replay Guitar Exchange is proud to support Live Music Showcase. Support for WMNF comes from our listeners like you and Replay Guitar Exchange in South Tampa, specializing in new, used, and vintage guitars, amps, and related gear. Replay Guitar Exchange's mission is to provide the right guitar to the right player for the right reasons. More at replayguitarexchange.com. So Afro Beta, who has no guitars in their set today, today, correct. but you said you guys do a lot of your writing acoustically first. So you say piano and I assume guitar as well? Yep. Okay. So who's the who plays instruments in the band? We both do, we both but do. I, I'm the primary instrumentalist here. I did assume as much, but you do play. What do you play? I play keys. I grew up playing piano as a kid, yeah. um, you know, and then probably like some other folks were like ah, you know I did a lot of other stuff too like I loved dancing so I I got involved in so many of the other arts um but I still have that thanks to my mother who has this amazing ear for music I remember playing her music that I liked on cassette tapes when I was a kid um and trying to ask her to teach me how to drive and then she would come home and then just start playing the song by ear so she's incredible and would get in trouble from her music teachers for not sight reading right. and like playing by ear and so I think I got that little talent from her and it's been very useful in songwriting so well, I she plays bass too oh that's right I did I did go you on got tour the pocket. playing I yeah. did slapping the bass playing <laughs> bass yeah punk yeah. Like punk More yes punk. for Las Nubes uh, they're awesome from Miami as well so yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty much can pick stuff up yeah now, I'm I, playing a br- Brazilian percussion ensemble yeah. too Tony's wearing the shirt uh, today but yeah <laughs> I love that and speaking of ensemble I love your outfit why thank I you I think it's very cool it's very it's very it matches your sound <laughs> which you know I I say that and, and a lot of people hear that and they just kind of dismiss it but how important is it truly that uh, a band looks how they sound like either they need to look how they sound or they need to look the opposite of how they sound you know what i mean like that contrast and being unexpected is very is very helpful and there's plenty of bands that are like that if you're listening right now and you want to see what we're talking about right now you can see exactly what we're talking about by checking out the live stream at our facebook page wmnf's live music showcase just search wmnf's live music showcase you'll find our live stream you can tune in and join in on the fun join in on the comments i'm going to check the comments here in a minute just to see uh what people are saying because there's always people that have fun opinions in there sure i mean it's just a form of another form of expression Truly. you know and it's something you can have fun with every day when you wake up and you look you guys kind of match too yeah we do you yeah. know yeah. i yeah. honestly i was <laughs> like they're from miami i'm gonna wear my pink pants today. Hey. that's what i want to do the salmon <laughs> pants they get along nicely in the miami <laughs> heat i like it beautiful yeah so as far as that kind of thing goes with your live show like you guys are playing hooch and hive tonight and by the way we do have tickets to give away for that hooch and hive show uh, so we'll be giving those away a little bit later. But when it comes to, so you said, one of the things you said earlier I thought was really important, you you write all your music on acoustic instruments, but you can't lug around a baby grand piano with you wherever you go. No. So, so you figured out a way to package your music that is both really fun and exciting for a live set and is, uh, frankly, economical for touring. Yeah, and portable. And portable. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. And, and fast. You saw how fast we set up. You guys were in here quickly. Yeah. yeah. You set up quickly. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, for festivals, it's great. Uh, you know, we don't need a ex- fancy ride or anything. We come with what we need. and Yeah. I mean, we've we've have been able to live the fantasy a little bit. Tony is a very accomplished musician and has played with so many bands that were big. Um, and I played in a band before this as well, a couple of bands that were big as well. So part of our experiment... Big, big in size. Big in size. <laughs> lots of people yeah. like, uh, in mean, the band. Some of them uh, were pretty yeah. famous, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. But the point being is that <laughs> it, like our project working together as like the beta project of all the other alpha projects um, was just basically let's let's take it as small as we can let's just play during the week these will just yeah. be weekday, weekday gigs. gigs it's like a side project yeah, yeah. Hustle. and then just you two know, people we could play on a tuesday night the side project evolved yeah. but but it's been really amazing and we've had a really great opportunity in the recent years to kind of put all our musician friends together and and play the songs as like 
full band, which is really fun. No tracks. And yeah. so that was, yeah. that's what I was going to ask too, as far as like <laughs> these, these arrangements, obviously they have plenty of room to be a full band. If you want that kind Absolutely. of thing, I love that sound. And yeah. you probably yeah. do that most in Miami where you the guys problem are is we're snobs and we want good musicians and they're not <laughs> always available <laughs> and they're expensive. Yeah. They're expensive yeah. oh. and you got to get them their own hotel room. Yeah. They have opinions. Yeah. Yeah. Musicians always have opinions. Yeah. Yeah. Synths and tracks don't have opinions. Drummers no. take up all this space with their I emotions. Oh, their drums. Yes, I was yeah. going to say their emotions take <laughs> up so much room in the van. Oh, no. Yeah. No, honestly, I actually love drummers because to me, uh, in my experience with yeah. bands, like they're almost always the most like grounded centered like come on guys let's not yeah. really worry about this let's go get some food like the, they're always the less drum. emotions yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh. yeah all right so i want to dive into another song all right and then i really want to learn about how you guys got together as a band this is warrior all right this is one of her dreams she she writes a lot in her dreams Actually, this song has guitar recorded by the great Aaron Libos. I can feel my enemies wanting me. I create them wanting everything I see. Warrior, princess, queen. This is who I am in my dreams Heavy in my chest I feel gravity The weight of the demands I make on me Sleepy head, lazy This is who I am when I'm me
This is Afro Beta here in live music showcase here on WMNF. So you guys were both in your own separate projects. You guys were both doing, sounds like bigger things. <laughs> Oftentimes, when a band or a musician gets into that level where they get to the point where like, okay, things are going well, the ego kicks in and it makes it a lot harder to work with other people. It makes it a lot harder to collaborate. You know, you think, well, the way I want to do it is the right way. <laughs> and sometimes that's true, but it doesn't matter because in collaboration, the right way is every way, is everyone's way, is everyone's ideas uh, to some de degree. How did you guys link up? Obviously it started as a side project and it's evolved into a non-side project. Correct. What brought you guys together? I think Tony is very generous and he's always been very generous with his time and his energy in the community. So I met him through that community live music scene in Miami. He was hosting an open mic night. Um, he was playing with all these amazing projects locally that I had an opportunity to go and see. So we became friends and started sharing music that we liked together and just realized we had all these different um, kind of uh, aesthetic uh, things that we both liked. Um, even though we both have like very different music uh likes in some ways which is really interesting well like, give, give me an example what do you mean okay so he's obsessed with some things that i just don't get and i've been able to kind of be like, okay i can hear it but one example that off the top of my head is infected mushroom <laughs> okay like the so israeli side trans band from the 2000s S say yeah. that genre again, <laughs> please. Psytrance. Uh, it's okay. Psy israeli trans. yeah israeli side trans oh. and psy is spelled like p s y, -S -Y which yeah. means yeah. psycho psychedelic Jonathan yep. from yeah. Korn sang with them. Yeah, and they yeah. have like metal guitarists. Yeah. We okay. saw them at Coachella. Yep. Yeah, it's crazy. It's weird. And then I love Bjork and Tori Amos, and he's like, ugh, <laughs> I can't with these people. <laughs> so it's like... The well, they're like very the different. Cubes. Yeah, they're, you're probably not going to see them yeah. on the same bill uh, very often. Hey. But, but so I actually really like that yeah. because I see that and I hear that in your voice, mm -hmm. and I hear that kind of yeah. instrumentation elements elements yep. you know of it of influence there and it's really kind of cool to hear that and hear yeah. those influences I mean, you can see his uh, van halen van halen van. inspired yeah. synthesizer yeah. um so yeah. yeah that those are his uh you know his, his takes do you play jump on that synthesizer <laughs> that's why i play synthesizers yeah that's exactly <laughs> that's it. it does it have a <laughs> 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 yeah exactly so okay there's, there's cigarettes burns all over this thing there it is i, yeah. I mean if it doesn't have cigarette burns yeah. does it really it's has it ever been on tour no. really so when it comes to Actually, there's been rum spilled all over this thing Ugh. really yeah yeah i mean as a bar musician oh. i can relate yeah. to that completely uh your if your equipment isn't some yeah. way shape or form sticky yeah. after you've owned it for at least six months then rum and coke is the stickiest i'll tell you that mm -hmm. cuba libre <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. So when it, so that marriage of different genres and different tastes and different styles, do you guys find that you have a lot of friction when it comes to writing ever? We actually like a lot of the same music. Yeah. 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 Those, are, those are, those are, those are, are the weird the outliers, but we do like a lot of the same music. We're weirdos. We like techno, but we also like folk, folk music. Like, and so, yeah, yeah. So that we like, yeah, yeah it's, it, it works. I think, Especially because, again, talking about his generosity, like as a songwriter and a, and a collaborator, he's so generous with kind of giving space for ideas and experimentation. And he does a lot of the work that is the hardest work, in my opinion, is like sitting in front of the computer and producing. Nah, being on Instagram, like that's harder. Ugh, <laughs> no, I just I, I mean... could talk about that for hours. Mark knows <laughs> I could talk about that for hours. But oh. you're right. That's yeah. right. Yeah, no, exactly. So uh, so. I actually really, I love that you said that. <laughs> that because here's the thing, a lot of musicians, and if you're out there yeah. musicians and yeah. you're gonna turn your nose up, but you're also gonna be like, he's right. Yeah. The reality is a lot of musicians, they look down on people that are like just singers, quote yeah. unquote, that are just, you know, they're up there and they're dancing and they're singing. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're over here, you know, MDing, musical nah. directing, but the reality is. The singers are the head, the starting quarterback. Right. Yeah, and, and sorry, the, even if they don't know what a C major seven is, they're the starting quarterback. One of my favorite chords, yeah. by the way. But if every <laughs> if everyone on stage is head down, you know, 100% focused on the craft, yeah. then no one's actually yeah. performing. By the way, she knows what a C major seven is. Of it's course okay. she does. It's of okay. course she does. I, 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 She's, a really <laughs> She's a musician as well. She's a musician as well. The reality is singing is one of the hardest instruments to master Please. because you can't see it. 
You can't feel it. It's not tactile. And if you break a vocal cord, you can't go to Guitar Center and buy a new one. Oh. You have to be careful with it. And it's and it has to be cultivated and craft and cared for. And, you know, uh, if you don't do that, then you end up, you know, singing in dirty cigar bars yep. where your voice is falling apart because of the smoke and all that stuff. So I love this uh, kind of blend of, of influences and this blend of style and hearing it and the music come together in such a nice cohesive way it sounds like one sound yeah. it doesn't sound like two sounds that are like competing or two sounds that are trying to get along it sounds very um both musically and metaphorically harmonious oh. so it's very cool and on that note i'd love to hear your next song Sweet. here's a song about mango season oh, okay which it's now. Our mangoes, Get your mangoes are about to come down in Miami and then we leave. Set those nets up. Yep. Use it on TikTok when you uh, pick your mango from your tree. It's a great one. This is a sample from a uh, Yamaha PSR 560. Sure, buddy. <laughs> This song goes out to all the mangoes out there. The sweet ones, the green ones, and the downright stinky ones. She picks a mango from the tree, then she brings him over to me. They're so delicious, we eat them slowly. You know I'm lying, we eat them quickly. She picks the mangoes, he plays the bongos. I'll take another mango, please. I'll take another mango, please. From your tree. Oh, yes. From your tree. Afro Beta here on Live Music Showcase. So, uh, picking the mangoes from the trees. Is there a metaphor there, or are we, are we staying on the surface picking mangoes? You know, There's I feel no like metaphor uh, life is a musical. When you love music and, you know, your conversations can turn into songs, and loving mangoes can turn into a song. It's, it's just that. Yeah. And that's a crowd participation song. Yeah. I love that. We I catch who's paying attention i should have i should have inc included yeah. everybody here well, in the they're studio driving to sing with us no, that's okay yeah. folks in here that's okay yeah, yeah they're <laughs> they're all everyone in the studio right now is is very focused hard at work <laughs> manning cameras and uh speaking of which once again every time we go live we also go live on facebook with a full production video live stream so if you're listening right now and you're like hey i wonder what this looks like i wonder what ken's pants are looking like this uh particular uh, afternoon you can go online at uh on facebook look up wmnf's live music showcase so tonight's your show it's at hooch and hive <clears throat> have you been to hooch and hive yet no, no. this no. is our first time yeah. um i i really like that room a lot because they they built a room there's so many places that they start out on that on that road of we want to build a place that's for music we want to build a place that's for music for music for music for music and then the next thing you know six months later the place is filled with TVs and video games oh. and things like that and the reality is yes they built a stage yes they added nice sound but they compromised because they were afraid that maybe the audience wouldn't want just music mm -hmm. and the reality is people in Tampa in my experience are hungry for live music and hungry for the experience of live music and getting to share it with their friends and getting to share it with the people on stage. And one of my favorite things about venues like that is it provides an intimate 
experience where you don't just get to go and play the music and listen to the music as a spectator. You get to interact. You get to meet the people that are playing. You get to be part of the experience. And, you know, uh, frankly, I think you guys are going to have a great time playing at that place tonight. And they do have excellent sound. It's very, very good. I've played there before. It's a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah. So um, what's next for Afro Beta? What's coming up? What do you guys want to be doing? Where do you want to be? Um, I maybe I am not n- enough of an achiever, but I'm so happy yeah. with everything that is of the moment and what well, we are doing. We're starting our tour tonight. Yeah, mm-hmm. this, this is, is the it. this is the beginning, and I'm just grateful to be able to be playing music and be out and be traveling, and we have our dogs with us, yeah. and we're just living it. This is the life. We're gonna you know? be writing our next album on the road this time. Yeah, oh. yeah. yeah. I love hearing yeah. that. I we love have that. we have enough time between sh- some cities where we'll have a couple days. We day, can like, hang out. Yeah. And yeah, write some new songs. Get away from this Florida heat. Yeah, it's and, something. And just, yeah, and just being home. I mean, I love being home, and I love my family, I love my friends, and I love all the community that we build and all of the million projects. But it's really nice to kind of step away from that and have a little bit of solitude to kind of focus. So it feels good. Sure. And how good. how long are you guys going to be on tour? We're probably not going to be back in Miami till September. Or so. Wow. So we're yeah. going to be gone for a while. That's yeah. amazing. We yeah. kind of relocate to Central New York. Okay. So we do this tour and then just land in the finger it's called the finger lakes region yep mm-hmm. yeah. right ithaca yeah. and we just spend the last two months of the summer there we get like little residencies perfect. and play the different spots out there we've made great friends and so shots out to the finger lakes yep. region and the heads out there it's awesome yeah. very cool very yeah. cool and as far as uh first of all i love that uh I'm not hearing like, oh, we're, we're going to be the biggest band in the world. I don't hate that either. That's great. Those those kinds of ambitions. Hey, you know what? If you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to make the sacrifice. And you need willing, to have a little behind you before your name. A little bit. A little man. baby or a little something. Little, little something. koozie. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> no. No. To be I famous, mean, you have to have like a little. No, I mean, uh, dude, little, we are little. doing we're doing all the things. And that's just the, the thing. Like, you just got to build the bricks. And, and yeah, we've made a lot of sacrifices, personal sacrifices, you know, already. So but it doesn't feel like a sacrifice when you're doing what you want to yeah. be doing. There it is. That yeah. right there. Yeah. What is it? What is the old <laughs> adage? If you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. That's and I, right. I think that's why musicians are always seen as so lazy. The reality is we're not lazy. We're working real hard we're, we're just having a good time it doing exactly it exactly doesn't look like i'm working. Mm-hmm. I'm working that's the key make it look effortless so <laughs> we do have some tickets to give away for their show tonight at hooch and hive afro beta at hooch and hive the studio line once again is 813-239-9663 they'll get your information your tickets will be at will call so if you would like to come and hear these sounds that you're hearing right now live in concert at hooch and hive call that number 813-239-9663 so uh, we're coming up to the end of the show here. Okay. It flew by, as it always does, oh. when it's a good time. So thank you guys for providing such a wonderful experience this for us. It sounds so good in here. It, you're it enjoying it? Me, we're, we might have to switch back to in-ears after <laughs> this. <laughs> well, it, that's Mark Perfetti Mark, in there. It makes, my playing, it, it makes you play better because you hear every mistake. You don't have to look lo- lo- around a, another speaker. You make stuff. no mistakes. You're perfect. Yeah, right. You're perfect. Perfect, just the way you yeah. are. Just the way you are. I love it. And I see you've got a vinyl there too, so yeah, that's exciting. Yeah, yeah. I want to uh, bring it to the local shops nearby. So if you guys can't make it to the show tonight and can't get it in person, hopefully it will be in stock. Yeah, and I'm sure you guys will share on your social media where that's going to end up. What is your social media, by the way, for people that uh, are trying to find you guys and follow you guys? It's at Afro Beta everywhere. A F R O B E T A. There you go. That's easy. I love it. Nice, easy, concise, very nice. And your social media game is on point. Very nice. Well done. So let's dive into one song here. Then we're gonna we're gonna finish up the show. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna find out who won. Okay. That's exciting. Uh, and then we'll let you guys finish out the entire show. So we have one song left or two? Two. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. We sing in Spanish too, so we yeah, might please, as well. Yeah, please, please, yeah. All right, which one's this one? Let's do Rio. And okay. speaking like of a, oh. speaking yeah. of Spanish, yeah. by the way, um, Isha, Isha, uh, Isha, Isha. Del Val, 
Uh, oh. She is the she's the the board president uh, for the entire radio station. She also has a show called Latinx and uh, Latin Night Strip. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to give a quick shout out uh, because she okay. heard you guys were coming on, and yeah. I think she's a big fan of you oh. guys too. Oh well, let's get it on the show. Yeah, let's be playing yeah. It on the radio. Get you guys playing here at WMNF regularly. Get you a nice big well, following. We'll for do Tampa. the last two songs will be in Spanish then. Beautiful, right. beautiful. This song is called Rio Miami, and it is a modification uh, rework. Of of an original song by Celia Cruz performed with La Sonora Matancera and many other uh, it's kind of like a standard of sorts so now jump in between those just so you guys know yeah, yeah. okay sounds cool. good awesome Listening to live music showcase here on WMNF 88.5. So it looks like we have a winner. All right. We have a winner for those tickets tonight. Olivia, I'm going to say your last name, Nab? 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 Nab. Olivia, thank you so much for calling Yay. in, getting those tickets, and they'll see you tonight. We'll see you Olivia, tonight. Olivia, you can have our drink ticket. There, there you, you go. go. All there right. You, go. you wow. win. You win. You got a free entry and you Double got some win. drink tickets. Yep. You got your night planned. That's it right there. <laughs> So Live Music Showcase is a very special show, and I say that because we have an entire team of people that make this show possible. Uh, I am definitely not just sitting here by myself in a studio burning everything. I wish I could say that, but the truth is there's too many moving parts for a single person to do it. And speaking of people on this team right now, we have Mr. Mark Perfetti. The audio engineer, he's the reason why the show sounds as good as it does every single week. His commitment to the show means a lot. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to the rest of the station. and sure means a lot to the listeners, I'm sure. Our post-production is Richard Stone. Our audio assistant is Pam Robinson. Bob Hoke is our video director. Our camera operators are Marcy Connors and Ed Lehman. Our social media is Bree Shoemaker. And our studio assistants today are Madeline Stimak and Jake Hatton. And then, of course, our photographer, he's taking a photo of me right now, Mr. Chandler Collada. Thanks, Chandler. You get my good side? 
No, you didn't. I'm not turned around. You got to get the back of my head. That's my good side. I thought you were going right. to say your booty was your good side. <laughs> I was like, whoa, hey now. Uh, not enough <laughs> squats to make that claim, frankly, but I'm working on it. We'll get there someday. So uh, at this point at the sh- in the show, usually I have our guests play us out, and I think we'll definitely do that. But here, uh, before we go, I always like to, when, it's, when it makes sense, when we've got guests that are articulate and fun and entertaining like you guys are, I'd like to give you guys the last word. So if, you ha- if your audience tonight, for example, if you could sit, stand there, you're not sitting, but stand there, and say one thing to them that you'd like to say directly to your audience, now is your chance. Does what anybody have a motu, to uh, no, a power me, supply? That's not, the, that's not what we're saying. Never mind. Somewhere I'm out there. I'm going to say you are eternal and don't take this too seriously because it's not permanent. I love it. It's just life. I love it. It's going to be okay. just life. It's going to be okay. <laughs> you know, in today's day and age, with everything that's going on right now in this country and in this world, I think that's a message that's really important. Yep. Yeah. It's because, perspective. Yeah. There is a lot of hard stuff. And when it gets hard, you'll, you'll know what you need to do. Mm-hmm. You know? You'll know. Mm-hmm. But the little things, just, just take it light. Take it light. I like it. So I think without, uh, I think we can get away with uh, one more song. Tell me a little bit about this song before you play it. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this song, though, well, before we get started. We it, 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 it's called uh, Chancletazo. It's, Ooh, yeah. okay. It's Chancletazo. Chancleta yeah. is a flip-flop for those that are not in yeah. the Spanglish, Spanish language, Spanglish yeah. language. Yeah. And uh, it is known throughout the uh, Latin universe because it was a weapon that your parents would use with you if you behaved badly. Wait, what do you mean? Tell me Like about as it. a verb. So the way I don't chancletazo, or I, will, I will hit you with a chancleta or you would just be doing something and see it fly by your head and then you yeah. knew you did something wrong. So it can be <laughs> yeah. a projectile. It fly by your head. Yeah, it's yeah. a projectile. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, it's it's not going to hurt you. You're not going right. to you know, yeah, get they're injured. Light. But, but it's still, it's like, come on. Because chancla is footwear. Yeah. Yes. That's what we're talking yes. about here. Yeah. It's a yes. flip yes. flop. Correct, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Right. So that's what the song is about. Say, say that phrase one more time. Chancletazo. Yeah. Right. What yeah. does that sound like, Mark? <laughs> Does that sound like anything in particular? No, it doesn't. Nope, it doesn't sound like anything in English that sounds like uh, a similar. I love it. Okay, well, without further ado, thank you so much, listeners, for giving us a listen today. Remember, we are live every Friday at 2 p.m., 2.06 after the uh, the news at the top of the hour there. Make sure you set your dial to 88.5 all the time. We've got beautiful music. We've got great talk. We've got great politics. And uh, coming up next, by the way, too, is the uh, Rhythm Revival with... uh, Reverend Billy, uh, great show, great deep dive into some of the best music, some of the most legendary musicians, and uh, what makes them tick, where they come from, and some great stories from Reverend Billy himself. So without further ado, feel free to take it away and take us out, you guys. See you tonight. Thank you so much. For this great interview. It's been a really good time. Good. We've had fun. All right. So anyway, <laughs> speaking of the interview, <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite things about doing live shows because you just never know what's going to happen. It's awesome. It's, it's really live. It's really live. Hey. I was fast forwarding. <laughs> Thank you, Live Music Showcase. We're so grateful to be here with you guys. Thanks for having us. We'll see you tonight at Hoochin' Hot. Chancletazo, ella se viró y me metió un chancletazo, chancletazo. Eso es lo que pasa cuando tú me jodes. Chancletazo, chancletazo, ella se viró y me metió un chancletazo, chancletazo. Te lo mereces, te lo buscaste, porque te portaste muy mal. Chancletazo, que no se te olvide, te meto sin caso. Porque te portaste muy mal, ah, chancletazo. Yes.
sé por qué me pegaste con la chancleta Me escapé de casa en la madrugada Me fui para la moksha y tú durmiendo Yo regresé a tiempo pero te enteraste No te me hagas el loco Sabes muy bien lo que haces Me dicen con quién tú andas Ya yo sé quién eres No te me vengas con cuentos No pienso en ti hace tiempo Mami dice que un clavo Saca otro clavo Te lo mereces Te lo buscaste Porque te portaste muy mal ah, Chancletazo Que no se te olvide Te meto sin caso ¿Por qué te portaste muy mal? Ah, chancletazo. And that's our show. Thanks so much for watching you guys on the live stream. Thank you for being here every week. For those of you who are here every week, we do this live stream every week. So make sure you guys follow our page, like our page, and uh, make sure you hit that little bell. Make sure you get a notification every time we go live. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.